Déjala. Una, bueno, no sé si era chiquita. Ok, hello, hello, bueno, guys. Eh, tiene crema. Hello, good evening. De una de dos de ochenta y cinco. Hello, can you guys hear me? Can you hear me, guys? Dos de ochenta y cinco. Hello. Hello. Can you Gracias. Ah, ahorita no. ¿Ah? Ahorita pues no. Buena. Now, can you hear me, guys? Yes, now. Yes. yes. All right. So, my earphones are not working, so. So it is time to start, guys. Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Nelson Adonai Ramirez, and I'm going to be the person, or the teacher in charge of this module. So uh, if you have any question or something during the module or as you have any question, feel free to ask me, and uh, I'm going to be here to help you out, okay? So thank you so much for the people that has the camera. It's really nice to see you. Gracias a las personas que tienen la cámara encendida, ¿verdad? So uh, if at any point of the class, guys, you don't understand, si en algún punto no entienden lo que estoy diciendo, please let me know, okay? Dígame, okay, teacher, I don't understand. Teacher, please slow down. Teacher, no, just let me know, okay? Hágamelo saber. Si no entienden algo, so I'm going to explain. Okay, are we clear? Um, can you please try to uh, turn your microphones off? Sí. Vamos a apagar los micrófonos un ratito, por favor, licuado. ya que se escucha mucha interferencia. Licuado. Hello. No, no. Licuado. Ah, lo deja, lo que huele. 
Hello. ¿Me pueden apagar los micrófonos, please? Oh my God, I think she's not, she's not understanding. Okay, finally she understood, okay. So thank you so much, guys, um, for being on time, okay? So this is our first class. If you think, as I said uh, before, si hay en algún momento that you don't understand something, okay, let me know, hágamelo saber, okay? Porque más que todo acá se trata de que entendamos y que al mismo tiempo aprendamos eh, lo que vamos a ver este día, okay? So, um, if you don't understand what I'm saying, please let me know. Háganmelo saber, so I will try to help you out, okay? Are we clear? Yes? Yes. All right, okay. perfect. Okay. Yes, all right, so thank you so much. Welcome, guys. Uh, as I said before, my name is Nelson Adonai Ramirez, and I'm going to be your teacher in charge of this module, okay? So we are going to try to learn as much as possible, and uh, we're going to try to learn and practice a lot of pronunciation, okay? Me gusta que aprendamos bastante pronunciación, so we are going to practice a lot of pronunciation in this class. Perfect. So um, today's class, guys, is going to be about introducing ourselves, okay? Va a ser acerca de empezar a conocer vocabulary about introducing ourselves, okay? Eh, para los que se van apenas conectando, eh, if you have questions, si tienen preg preguntas durante la clase, let me know, háganlas, ¿sí? ¿Sí? Here we are, or we are here to learn. Estamos acá para aprender, ¿sí? Any question you have, ask me and I will help you out, okay? Thank you. So, um, with that being said, guys, today we are going to, can you see the, okay. Can you see the, the slide or the presentation? Can you see it? Pueden verla, chicos? Yes. Right. Yes, sir. So, as you can see, for yes. we have greetings using the verb to be. What does that mean? ¿Qué significa? Today, we're going to learn like some parts of some vocabulary about greetings. We're going to learn how to introduce ourselves in English. We are going to learn how to say basic greetings, okay? So, to start with that, para empezar, first of all, lo primero. What do you guys know que se recuerdan, recuerdan del verb be? What do you remember? What do you know about the verb be? Ser o estar. Estar in Spanish. Thank you so much, Luis. What about the other ones? Hay de los demás. What do you think about Burby? What's Burby for you? Sin miedo, verdad, chicos? Yo no los muerdo. Estoy al otro lado de la computadora, okay? So, <laughs> what does Burby mean? B means for you. ¿Qué entiende el del Burby? Cuando ustedes escuchan Verb to be, what does come to your mind? ¿Qué viene a sus mentes? Luis already said ser o estar. What about the other ones? ¿Qué hay de los demás? Do you agree? ¿Están de acuerdo con lo que él dijo? Or do you have another opinion? De acuerdo con lo que él dice. All right, thank you. Yes, as Mr. Luis said, the verb be in Spanish is going to be something like ser o estar. That will be the translation for us in Spanish, okay? But uh, first of all, we need to understand how the verb be works in English. In English, as you can see here, the verb be has three forms. What are the three forms? 
M, I am, is, is, and are. Okay? Those are the three forms that we have in English. M, olvidémonos de que en la escuelita nos enseñaron que decíamos am. No, it's am. Am, okay? M, is, are. Those are the three forms of the verb be. Obviously, that is going to depend on the pronoun that we are going to use. That's why, es por eso, que si pueden ver on the left corner, en esta esquina de acá, it says, it has three forms, it depends on the pronoun you use. Dependen el pronombre que utilicemos, Así van a ser las tres formas. Okay? So now, we are going to go with one by one with the personal pronouns. Ahora vamos a ver los personal pronouns and the ways each one of the forms, y la forma en que cada uno de los tres formas del verb be trabaja with each one of the pronouns. Okay? Let's go. So we have the personal pronouns. Esto creo que todos lo sabemos, ¿verdad? Yes, yes, yes. You, we, they, he, they, he she, and it. eat. Something very important, guys. Algo que quiero que sepa. En la escuela nos enseñaron que para decir tú decíamos you. Yo. Correct. En inglés no decimos you. Esta Y se pronuncia como una I de nuestro español. ¿Sí? So we say you. 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 That's the way we say it. Another thing, very important. Otra cosa muy importante. La mayoría de veces las personas dicen she para poder decir ella. But the right pronunciation of that word is she. Yes? She. Como cuando arriamos los pollos, ¿verdad? Sh, 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 like that, that sound. She. That's the sound that you have to make when it comes to pronunciation. So, let me see. Uh, vamos a ver. Arely Orellana. Hello. Hello. So, can you help me? Puedes ayudarme diciendo los personal pronouns so I can hear you. Please. Solo diciéndolos, ¿sí? Solo diciéndolos estos que tenemos acá. Uh -huh. You. Remember, no es you. You. Okay. Ajá. 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 Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Let me see. Uh, Nidia Esmeralda de Guevara. Hello. Hi. Hello. Can you please help me saying saying that personal pronoun so I can hear your pronunciation? Okay. I, you, we, they, he, she, it. Very good. Thank you so much. Let me see. Uh, let me try to hear another person. Ulises Chanico. Hello, sir. Hello, coach. Can you help me reading those personal pronouns so I can listen to you? I, you, we, they, he, she, it. Very good. And the last one, Gabriela Sanchez. Hello. Hello. Go ahead. Help me, please. I, you, we, they, he, she, it. Very good. Thank you so much. So, with that being said, guys, now we're going to find out which one of the forms of the verb be are going to work with each one of the personal pronouns. Here we have I am. Here we have you are, we are, they are. And the last one, we have he, she, and it. We say 
his, she, <coughs> it is. Generally or normally, a estos tres personal pronoun, we call them third person. Sí, le llamamos tercera persona. So, for the next time, para la próxima vez, si ustedes escuchan que yo digo tercera persona or third person, ya ustedes van a saber que me estoy refiriendo. He, she, or it. Okay? That's the third person. So, um, now, those are the three forms that we have in English. Now, with that being said, let me ask someone. Um, let me see. Erika del Carmen. Hello, Erika. Hello. If I have, si yo tengo el personal pronoun you, con qué forma? is the form of the verb be que trabaja con ese pronoun. Can you tell me? Um, is. So I said juice. Are you sure? ¿Qué hay de los demás? Any opinion? Are. You are. Correct. You are. You are. So we say, are. remember, we say you are. We are, they are. Okay. So thank you so much, okay. Erica. So now, vamos a ver. Hey, um, Any question? For sure. Pregunta? No? No. No. So, con lo que acabamos de aprender. Con lo que Vamos a aprender de los personal pronouns and the three forms of the verb be. Vamos a ver si entendimos. Tenemos diez cosas acá. And something that I want to tell you. Algo que quiero decirles es que el personal pronoun it lo utilizamos para cosas y para animales. Ok, it. Para animales. Cosas y animales. Solamente es, aunque si ustedes ya le tienen cariño a un animal, if you already have some kind of love for your animal, si tienes un perro y tú le quieres decir él, that's part of, uh, just part of cariño que ya le tienen, okay? We can say he, but normally in grammar, in gramática, we use the personal pronoun it. So, with that being said, Con eso dicho, aquí tenemos unos ejer no ejercicios. They are just for me to verify if you understood. Solo son para verificar si entendimos la parte de con cuál pronombre trabaja each form of the verb. Okay? So let me see. Number one is going to be for Mr. Luis Arevalo. Number two is going to be for Nidia Esmeralda. Number three for Ulises Chanico. Number four, Arely. Number five, Teresita Hernandez. Number six, uh, Alba Duarte. Number seven, Juan Fernandez. Number eight, Catherine Reyes. Number nine, Maricela Alejandrina. And number 10, uh, let me see, Elizabeth Giron. So you already know your number, ya saben su número, so Go ahead. I am happy. I am happy. Very good. Thank you, sir. Number two. You are scared. Very good. You are scared. Yeah, Number three. Who got number three? He is smart. He is small. Number four. She is surprised. She is surprised. Number five. <clears throat> it is brown. It is brown. Thank you. Number six. We, we are young. young. We are young. Very good. Number seven. You are, you are tall. 
You are tall. Eight. They are old. They are old. Number nine. Jack are Brazilian. Jack are Brazilian? Yes, Jack are Brazilian. ¿Qué opinan los demás? What do you guys think? Do you agree Jack with what she said? Jack is Brazilian. Is Brazilian. Jack is Brazilian. Jack is Brazilian. ¿Por qué utilizamos is? Porque Jack es un él. Como ya sabemos que he is. So we say Jack is Brazilian. Okay, number 10. Uh, the, go, the dog is black. The dog is black. Very good. Thank you so much for that, guys. So let's move on. So today, guys, we're going to learn, they, as I said at the beginning, greetings and some questions of introduction. As I know that probably some of you already know this. Uh, sé que quizás la mayoría de ustedes ya conocen esas palabras, but we're just going to go over them so you can have a, a review, okay? So we know we say good morning, uh, obviously in the morning. We say good afternoon, good afternoon. We say, decimos desde las 12 hasta las dos media, tres de la tarde. ¿Sí? Then we say good evening. Decimos good evening desde las dos y media, tres de la tarde hasta las siete de la noche. Then we can say good evening. Podemos decir good evening hasta la hora en que nos vayamos a dormir. Porque good night solo decimos cuando usted ya se va a la cama. De lo contrario, aunque esté noche, literalmente, usted no va a decir good night. You are going to say good evening. ¿Sí? Do we understand that? Yes. All right. Yes. Cool. So yes. Let's, yes. let's move on. And we have here some informal greetings. Esto es lo que venimos, right? So as you can see here, si pueden ver en los saludos, here we are using the verb be. Estamos utilizando el verb be. ¿Sí? For example, si yo le quiero preguntar a alguien, ¿Cómo estás? I say, how are you? How are you? How are you? Yes. I can say, I am fine. Thank you. ¿Sí? Esta parte de acá, chicos, this part, el are you, yo lo puedo cambiar por are we, are they, o yo puedo decir is she, is he, right? Eso lo vamos a poder cambiar dependiendo el pronombre. Sí, we're going to learn, vamos a aprender cómo hacer preguntas later on. So, but now it is just for you to pick up some greetings. Es para que aprendan eh, saludos básicos, okay? So we're going to go with how are you. Another thing, guys, that is very important in English. Otra cosa que es muy importante en inglés, intonation, okay? Intonation, entonación de pregunta. Eh, because we also have that in Spanish. También lo tenemos en español, ¿sí? Si tú le diste, me compraste aquello. ¿Sí? We make a little bit of an intonation. So in English, we have to do the same thing, okay? Another one, it is, how are you doing? ¿Cómo vas? How are you doing? How are you doing? Yes. Another one that is very common. Por eso dice acá, saludos informales. Todos estos, how are you? También es parte de los formales, pero en ocasiones, dependiendo el context, el contexto, puede por ponerse de una forma informal. ¿Sí? Si yo, if I say, what's up, what's up, what's up, that's very informal. Or if I say, what's going on, what's going on, what's going on, I can say, not much, no mucho. What's up? ¿Qué significa? Do you guys know? ¿Qué pasa? What's up? 
¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? Or if I say, what's going on? Estoy diciendo lo mismo. ¿Qué pasa? What's going on? ¿Cómo se lo informa mal, verdad? Hey, I'm sorry. What, what did you say? Um, uh, the informal grading. Oh, yes. They are informal. They are, all of them, all the ones that we have here, they are informal. Sí, estos que tenemos acá son saludos informales que los podemos hacer con amistades cercanas, the people with people that we already know. Personas que ya conocemos. Sí, tenemos confianza, yeah. things like that. Yeah. Example, another example for uh, if someone asks you, uh, what's going on? Si alguien le pregunta, okay, what's going on, Omar? And Omar tells me, not much. No hay mucho. ¿Qué pasa? No mucho. Not much. Luego él me puede preguntar, what about you? What about you? ¿Y a ti? What about you? ¿Y a ti? Sí. So, uh, with that being said, let me listen to some of you. Sí. Vamos a ver participación. Omar, now that you have your... Ya aprovechando que ya tienes el micrófono encendido, so... Help me read. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Todos. Can you help me read? Um, the first um, grading, right? All of them. Todos. I just want you, oh. I just want to listen to you, okay? Um, how are you? Okay. Uh, how are you doing? Mm -hmm. What's up? Mm -hmm. What's going on? Mm -hmm. And finish. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much, sir. Um, algo chicos, muy importante, the pronunciation of the letter S. Here. Let me see. Example, si decimos what's, que se escuche la pronunciación de la letra S. En Spanish, en español somos haraganes, hay veces no pronunciamos bien. But in English, it's very important that pronunciation. Porque si usted no pronuncia bien, un nativo nunca le va a entender aunque usted esté dele y dele queriendo decir, ¿verdad? Pero no le va a entender. So, very important. Another thing, we do not say, no pronunciamos how. Esta la pronunciamos how. How. Okay, we say, how are okay. you? How are you doing? What's up? Or what's up? What's going on? Okay? Thank you so much, Omar, for your participation. Now, let's go, Luis. Let me hear. Yes. Go ahead, sir. Can you can you read them? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. How are you? Mm -hmm. How are you going? Mm -hmm. What's up? Mm -hmm. What's going on? All right, thank you so much. Teresita Hernandez, can you please help me? How are you doing? Oh, no, es? Eh, how, how are you? Uh -huh. How are you doing? Mm -hmm. What's up? What's going on? Thank you so much. Very good. So, is there any questions so far? Alguna pregunta hasta el momento? Any questions so far? So far, so good. Por ahorita todo bien? Yes? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Yes. All right. So, let's move on. Vamos a movernos. So good. Now, we have some formal greetings, okay? Those ones that we have right here are very, very formal. See, ¿Sí? son formales. Example, we have once again, tenemos una vez más, how are you? Porque les dije, dependiendo del contexto, puede ser formal e informal. We have, what's your name? Acá podemos decir de dos formas. Yo puedo decir, what's your name? O puedo decir, what is your name? 
¿Sí? Contratado. Está abreviado. Contratado o sin contractar. ¿Sí? Eh, let me see. Let me write it here. What is your name? Así. ¿Sí? Puedo decir de estas dos formas. What's your name? Or what is your name? Those two. Okay? So, Fine. Yeah. we have nice to meet you. Gusto en conocerte. And las respuestas a, esa pre, a esas preguntas son, if, I, if someone tells you what's your name or what is your name, you are going to say my name is, you see, and you, and you tell your name. Y dices tu nombre. If someone asks you how are you, vas a decir I am fine. Thanks. See, if someone tells you nice to meet you, Tú vas a decir, nice to meet you too. Okay? So, let's move on. Vamos a continuar. Let's move on. Let me see. Here we have some, aquí tenemos las posibles respuestas a estas preguntas. We have once again, how are you? And we have right there, I am fine. Thank you. I am very good. Thank you, or you can just say very good, or I am great, not bad. Sí, estoy bien, gracias, muy bien, estoy bien, no tan mal, sí, not bad. And cuando alguien les pregunta, how are you? Y ustedes contestan, I am fine, thank you. Para continuar una conversación, ustedes pueden volver a preguntar, how are you? See, or you can say, and you, and we keep the conversation moving, okay? So, move on, let me see. Teacher, I have, I have a question. What is your question? Oh, what's your name, by the way? Um, Omar? Is that you, Omar? What is your Teacher, question? I have a question? What is your question? I have a question. Tu pregunta. Yeah. Um, mi pregunta es si podemos contactar. Mi pregunta, mi pregunta es una pregunta. How are you? Este. Uh -huh. Si podemos contactar el, el, el I'm. Yeah, of course, we, we can do that. Sí, sí, we can do that. Podemos contactarlo y podemos hacerlo contractando, eliminando la letra. Para, 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 para hacer más corto el I am. Yes, we can make the contraction. Podemos hacer la contracción en uh, pronoun and the verb be. ¿Sí? Uh, Podemos decir I am. Yes, we we can do that. We can say I'm I'm see we can say that there's no problem with that. For example, in this one, I can say I'm fine. Thank you. Or I am fine, ¿sí? Both of them. Eh, muy buena pregunta. Thanks. Thank, thank you so much for making that question. At this moment, en este momento no nos vamos a ir tan, tan pro, a profundidad con el verb be, but we are going to, vamos a ver esas formas del verb be later on. Después la vamos a ver contracciones, ah, negativas, no negativas, ah, and things like that, okay? But yes. We can make contractions. So, uh, now, here, as you can see, acá como podemos ver, estas son 
possible answers, son posibles respuestas que podemos dar cuando alguien nos pregunta, how are you? I can say, we can say, not bad. Okay. Okay. We can say, fantastic. We can say, couldn't be better. We can say, I've been VC. We can say, same as always. Not so great. Terrible. 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 So I will repeat Terrible. it once again. Pretty good. Not Pretty good. bad. Fantastic. Not bad. Fantastic. Couldn't be better. Couldn't. I've been busy, I've been busy. as always, not so great and terrible. Great. terrible, terrible. Okay, an example, let me see. Um, Nidia Esmeralda de Guevara, hello. Uh, if I ask you, how are you? <laughs> Si te pregunto, how are you? Can you say, puedes elegir cualquiera de esas? We are going to suppose that we are having a conversation, ¿ok? Vamos a suponer que estamos teniendo una conversación. And I ask you, hello, Nidia, how are you? Uh, I am very good. Very good, ok. Thank you. Gracias, ok. Thanks for your participation. So, guys, any questions so far? Preguntas hasta el momento? No. Okay, no. If I say, por ejemplo, si yo digo pretty good, es muy bien, not bad, no tan mal, fantastic, fantástico, couldn't be better, no podría estar mejor, I've been very busy, he estado eh, ocupado, same as always, lo mismo de siempre. Zero. Not so great, no tan bien. Terrible, terrible. Okay? Those are the meanings in Spanish. But if there's no questions, so I'm going to move forward. No hay preguntas, nos vamos a mover. So, here we have, what's your name or what is your name? When someone asks you that question, you're going to say, my name is, and you say your name. It is dices tu nombre, okay? Alguien pregunta, what is your last name? ¿Cuál es tu apellido? What is your last name? Or, podemos contractar y yo puedo decir, what's your last name? Tú vas a decir, my last name is, mi apellido es, my last name is, and you say your last name. Ok, so, la forma de preguntar la edad. En eh, inglés, we ask, how old are you? Esa es la pregunta que hacemos para preguntar la edad. How old are you? Y tú, aquí vamos a utilizar el verbo to be, ¿sí? I am, ¿sí? I am el número... 24, 24, 15, 18, 20, and so on. Example, I'm going to say, how, how old are you? I am 25 years old. That's in my case. Ese es mi caso, okay? And keep in mind, guys, porque hay veces traducimos literalmente y pensamos que para decir cuántos años tienes, a veces pensamos que se dice how many years do you have? But no. In English we say how old are you? Okay? Si alguien le dice a usted where are you from? Sometimes, algunas veces, tendemos a equivocarnos y cuando alguien nos pregunta where are you from? Pensamos que nos está preguntando nuestra dirección de casa. But no. In English, when someone tells you or asks you, what are you from? Le está preguntando de su país, su país, nationality, okay? 
So for the next time, if someone asks you, where are you from? You are going to say, I am from El Salvador. I am from El Salvador. Or you can say, I come from El Salvador. Vengo del Salvador, yes? I come from El Salvador. Two of them are correct. So with that being said, is there any questions so far, guys? Alguna pregunta es el momento? No. No questions. All right. So, here we have. Cuando alguien quiere saber dónde usted vive, es decir, your address, es decir, su dirección. En este caso le van a preguntar, where do you live? Acá sí va a dar usted su dirección. No completa, but for example, if someone asks you, where do you live? ¿Dónde vives? I can say, yo podría decir, I live in San Salvador, okay? Or I live in San Miguel, or I live in Sulutan. It's not a specifically, a specifically your address, but you're, you're not saying, no estamos diciendo el país, está diciendo el lugar donde tú vives. Or I can say, I live in Soyapango, I live in any of the places in El Salvador, okay? So, uh, another question that someone may ask you is, where do you study? Where do you study? Y aquí le podríamos agregar, where do you study English? ¿Dónde estudias inglés? If someone asks you, where do you study English? You can say, I study English at Inglés Corporativo. And things like, like, like an exam. Yes? All right. No questions? Preguntas? El at, ¿qué significa? En. Es una preposición de lugar. Yo digo, utilizo at porque estoy hablando de un lugar específico. Es muy diferente al in. Exacto. Sí. Ok. Porque utilizo at, ya que me refiero a un lugar específicamente. ¿Y el in, en qué momento sí. se... Significa en, pero yo me estoy refiriendo en un contexto general, no especificando eh, un lugar en sí. For example, if I say I study and uh, what? Let me see. I study in in Safor. There's a lot of places. Sí. Si yo digo I study in in Safor. Si yo digo estudio en INSA4 y utilizando IN, hay muchas sedes de INSA4. ¿Sí? Por eso ah, okay. estoy diciendo something specific. Ok, thanks. All right. So, now, una pregunta que hay veces siempre confundimos. Cuando alguien le pregunta, what do you do? No se está refiriendo a qué es lo que usted está haciendo. No, esos son errores comunes. Cuando alguien le quiere preguntar a usted qué es lo que está haciendo, va a ser la pregunta, what are you doing? La primera que vimos en las primeras presentaciones. Okay? Eso significa qué haces o qué estás haciendo. But when someone asks you, cuando alguien le pregunta, what do you do? That question is uh, referring to professions, occupations, jobs, or something related to what you do in your life. ¿Sí? Se refiere a profesiones, ocupaciones, eh, o cualquier cosa que tú hagas en la vida. ¿Sí? What do you do? ¿Sí? ¿Qué haces? For example, I can say I am a student. Yo soy un estudiante. I am a student. Okay. Now, is there any question at this moment? No. No questions. All right. So if there's no questions, guys, viene la hora en que vamos a practicar. ¿Sí? ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? If you have your phone, si tienen su teléfono, Take a screenshot, tomo una captura de pantalla, or if you are using your computer, están utilizando su computadora, take a photo, okay? 
porque nos vamos a ir a los breakout rooms. Se llama breakout rooms. So we can work on the exercises, okay? Teacher. Yes. Ya, yeah, es que fíjese que a mí en, en, en la pantalla no, no me sale completa actualmente. No sé si, si la ha este, expandido. No. No. No, I don't know. No, no. I'm just presenting like, like the screen. No, I don't know what's going on. Are you in, in your phone or your computer? No, uh, teléfono. Oh, that's weird. So I don't know. So, but, but don't worry, probably your, your, alguien más con el grupo que vas a trabajar, probably they will have that, so you can help each other, okay? Okay. Los ya tomaron captura, ya tomaron fotografías, so can move, me puedo mover. Yes. Siguiente? Yes. All right, this is number two. You let me know, me hace saber cuando ya lo hayan hecho, so I can move to the next one. Ready. Okay. The last one. Yes, sir. <laughs> Listos? Ready. Okay. Yes, sir. Perfect. Yes. Uh, so, Now I'm going to create the breakout rooms. Nos vamos a ir a los breakout rooms. And you are going to Buena work with your team. Van a trabajar con su equipo. Okay? So, por favor, yo sé que a este punto es un poco difícil a ustedes decirle okay. Elizabeth, do you have a question? Eh, buenas noches. Entré un poquito tarde, me costó entrar porque intenté que entrar en la computadora y no pude, entonces lo hice en el teléfono. Eh, hicieron equipo, perdón la pregunta. No, at this moment, we haven't done any groups. No hay grupos desde este momento. Ahorita que vamos a ir a la práctica, sí, ya lo vamos a hacer. Ah, ok, porque estoy como que un poquitito perdida con respecto a esto que acaba de decir. Me quedé así como, vamos a hacerlo en equipo, no entiendo qué sucede. Sí, yeah, sin teams, <risa> esto va a ser en equipo, esa es la práctica de todo lo que acabamos de ver, ok. Ah, ok. Gracias. All right, so, uh, let me see, let me create a breakout rooms. Eh, as I was saying, como estaba diciendo, si de repente ven algún número y ustedes ya se saben los números, please say it in English. Díganlo en inglés. Because this is your time to practice. Este es el momento para que ustedes empiecen a practicar, ¿ok? Because as you know, como ya saben, in El Salvador, we do not speak English. We speak Spanish. Si usted va a la tortillería, Spanish. Si usted va a Simán, Spanish. Si usted va a Plaza Mundo, Spanish. Si usted va a Metro, Spanish. So every place in El Salvador is Spanish. So este momento is for you to practice. Para ustedes puedan practicar. So if you see a number, si ven algún número y van a participar, please say it in English. Try to say it in English. Y participemos, ¿verdad? Todos. Voy a estar chequeando cada uno de los grupos para ver quiénes participan y quiénes no. So, go ahead. Try to join your groups. Unirse a sus grupos ahorita, ¿ok?
Hello, Omar. Hello. Omar, hello. Omar, hello. My last name is Marroquin. Ah, okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay. How old are you? Oh my God. Tengo. Estoy en clase. Are you guys working? Están trabajando in the exercises or not? Yes. Right. Yes. Good. I am 29 years old and I am from El Salvador and I am living in Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Coach. Yes. ¿Qué tenemos que hacer en la segunda práctica? And Solo practicar los, los... In order, exactly. Ordenarlos. If I say, how are you? Or how old are you? ¿Cuál es la respuesta que yo voy a tener? A, B, C, D, or E? ¿Sí? Let's go mm. here. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh. Okay, the first one, it's going to be, how old are you? I'm nine years old. The letter A. The letter E. e. Yes. E. E. Right. E. e. No, no letter B. Letter E. 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 Mm -hmm. The second one. The second one maybe it could be hello with letter D. Hi. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Hi. Yes, with the letter D. Hi. Four. What did you do? How much? Las la pregunta. Oh. ¿Qué significa eso? Eh, sí, creo yo que no ya está participando. ¿no? Entonces daría que tendríamos que decir las preguntas ahorita. Sí. Okay. Digo yo la primera. <ríe> es, eh, what, what's your name? That's okay. very okay. easy. How are you? Gente. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> my name my name is Oscar. Mm -hmm. How old are you? Uh -huh. I'm I'm old eight year. I'm eight or years old. I'm eight years I'm, old. I'm eight I am eight years old. old. No, Esa es la más difícil. I eight years old. I'm yours eight old. Okay, in okay. activity number two and actividad número dos, we just have to act. Elegir la respuesta de no with the letters, okay? okay. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Any question? Mm. Um, yes, I'm very well. Thanks. How are you? How are you? And and the second one it will be um, good night. Fine. Miss Stephanie, see you. Good see night. You. See you later. <clears throat> Good. See you. And that's it, I think. You already finished? Uh, the conversation. Yes, I think. O alguien más tiene alguna pregunta o algo que no haya completado. Hey Adeline, so for the next time you will probably going to be able Are you in the WhatsApp group? I can send you the pictures that I take, that I took, sorry. Let's practice. Did you guys sí, find... Sabra. Ay, hay una preguntita. Eh, vamos a entregar tarea para la siguiente clase. In this case, just because it is solo porque es la primera clase, we do not have homeworks, ¿no? But es importante que a partir de este día ustedes empiecen a trabajar en la plataforma. ¿Sí? Eh, La plataforma, recuérdense, al final del curso tiene que estar completa o antes. De lo contrario, eh, se va notando el trabajo que ustedes va, van haciendo. ¿Sí? Este, yo he estado trabajando en la plataforma y, bueno, es, me han surgido bastante dudas, eh, varias dudas. Eh, una está donde hay una, un, hacer una grabación de, para deletrear el nombre, creo. Pero no estoy segura si sí va a entregar o, 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 o no, o cómo se iba a hacer, porque no, no. O se quería empezar, como no, nunca había trabajado de primera vez que yo estoy en, en, en el curso, ¿verdad? Con ustedes, entonces no sé cómo se iba a trabajar ahí. Sí, en este caso, si hay algún problema que hayas tenido, eh, 
envíanos la captura de pantalla por el grupo de WhatsApp que tenemos, ahí de, de todos. Eh, yo anoto el problema que tú tienes. And then we... No, o sea, el problema no es el, el sistema o algo así, sino que uh -huh. mi duda era cómo se iba a hacer o cómo se iba a entregar o dónde se iba a enviar esa, ese audio, porque iba, había pedido un audio. No sé si eh, se iba a entregar dentro de la plataforma o al grupo de WhatsApp. Eh, let me check. Déjame revisar eso y because I couldn't see that. No pude revisar ahora la plataforma, mm -hmm. pero lo voy a hacer después de la clase. Cualquier cosa yo les aviso through the group, ¿ok? Ok. All right. So, did you complete the exercises? Terminamos. Yes. All right. Thanks. Okay. Okay, so I think that the majority of you probably already complete all the exercises. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to choose one of the exercises and I will choose, vamos a elegir a cualquiera de ustedes and I will see if you worked on that or not. Vamos a ver si trabajaron en eso o no, ¿sí? So I will try to, let me see. I will share the screen. Voy a compartir la pantalla. Y let me see. We are going to ask. Vamos a preguntarle Ulises. Hello, Ulises. And uh, can you help me? Vamos a ver. Well, how do you have, como tienes la letter A over there? What do you have there? Hi, Paul. What are you doing? What are you doing? You La... say, what are you doing? Or how are you doing? What? What? Okay. All right, that's possible. What about, let me see, Juan, Juan Fernando. Maybe it could be, how are you doing? How are you doing? That's possible as well. What do you have on letter B, Fernando? I'm very well, thank you. Thanks. Mm -hmm. And then? How are you? How are you? Okay. Okay, I'm just fine. All right, let me see. Carla Flores, what do you have on letter A? Segunda part, part number two. Good night, Mr. Stephanie. See you later. See you later. Very good. So you two have a wonderful night. Thank you. Let me see. Okay. Another one. Nidia Esmeralda. What do you have in part number four, the first part? Parte numero cuatro, la primera. What do you have over there? Nidia? Hi, I am Anna. Hi, I am Anna. Luis, uh -huh. what about number two? Yes. Uh, I am Chris. I am Chris. What do you have, Gabriela, number three? Gabriela Sanchez. What do you have in number three? Nice to meet you, Chris. Very good. Maricela, the last one. Mm, nice to meet you, too. 
Nice to meet you too, Chris. All right, guys. Um, before you go, just let me tell you that since today, uh, you have to start working on the platform. And if you have any questions, si surge alguna duda regarding to any of the topics, in cualquiera de, de, de los exercises, topics, o algo que no entiendan, we have the WhatsApp group, okay? Ahí tenemos el grupo de WhatsApp. Cualquier pregunta, duda o algo, la hacemos ahí. Si de repente eh, sienten pena hacer alguna pregunta eh, de algún tema y no lo quieren hacer en general, you can text me directly so I can help you resolving the problem, ¿ok? Pueden hacerlo directamente para poderles ayudar a resolver cualquier duda, uh, question or something like that, ¿ok? So before you go, I just want to say thank you so much for attending to this class today. So I hope to see you tomorrow at the same time by the same channel, okay? So see you guys tomorrow and have a good night, okay? Bye. Have a good night. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.